नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणे न स्वयं व्यासेन कृतिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणि भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदधा भगवदीते भगवेशिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशन सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शावर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डियालिज्म कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई अफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन डी यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशन टू So our reading of uh, Sri Mad Bhagavad Gita, the sixth adhyay, Dhyana Yoga, the Yoga of Meditation, and uh, Sri Krishna having given us the assurance in the thirty-fifth and thirty-sixth shloka. Now let us read today the thirty-seventh shloka, where in this thirty-seventh shloka again Arjuna raises it out. Now already in thirty-fifth and thirty-sixth shloka. Shri Krishna has addressed the earlier doubt raised by Arjuna that it is extremely difficult to control the mind the mind which is so strong which is so adamant which is so obstinate which is like extremely difficult to control like controlling a turbulent wind so all these kind of uh, uh, the, the 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 weaknesses of the mind Arjuna had just poured up in front of Shri Krishna and Shri Krishna had told him doesn't matter yes it is extremely difficult i fully agree but the same uncontrollable mind what you are saying the same turbulent mind what you are saying the same restless mind agitated mind what you are saying can be controlled by abhyasa and vairagya can be controlled by practice and can be controlled by non attachment and then in the previous shloka that we read the 36 shloka uh, shri krishna again says that i concede that a person with unrestrained mind for that person it is not possible to attain that yoga of equanimity just not possible i also agree i don't say you are wrong you are very much right not only you are right i agree to it that for a person of unrestrained mind yoga is not possible but at the same time krishna's words of assurance that vashyat manatu yatata shakyo vaptu mupaya mupayataha shakya avaptum upayataha for one who is following the right path upayataha is by right means by proper means and the means he had told abhyasa and vairagya by proper means if one follows this path of restraining the mind he can do it he can control the mind and he can control he he can attain to that stage of seeing one in all of equanimity the yoga of equanimity of this dhyana yoga the penultimate achievement on this path he can attain provided abhyas and vairagya now having heard that particular thing from uh, shri krishna that yes there is certain possibility for such a person who is following 
the abhyasa and vairagya who is following the the rigorous practice and non attachment now arjun has a doubt suppose somebody is following it but still he is not able to reach the end what is the condition of that person where does that person lead to and this is what exactly shri krishna is uh, arjuna is asking shri krishna the regarding the fate of such a person arjuna watch arjuna said ayati hi shraddhayo peto yoga chalita manasa aprapya yoga sansiddhim kaam gati krishna gachati kaam gati gachati what is his fate where does he go where is he led to such a person which type of person ayati ayati hi ayati hi is one with uncontrolled mind one with unrestrained mind one who is not able to bring the mind under his control at all ayati hi श्रद्धयोपेतो योगा चलित मानस सच पर्सन ओ कृष्णा सच पर्सन हु इज नॉट एबल टू कंट्रोल द माइंड बट श्रद्धय श्रद्धया उपेत बट पजेस श्रद्धा ए पर्सन हु इज नॉट एबल टू कंट्रोल द माइंड बट उपेत श्रद्धया वन who is possessed of faith one who is possessed of the shraddha of uh, uh, walking on this path of uh, dhyana of treading this path of yoga yoga chalita manasaha that whose mind wanders away from yoga he wants to but he has all that uh, uh, you know the, the the goodness in his heart that i must but still but still being a yati he being uncontrollable mind he wanders away from this path of yoga that uh, yoga chalita manasa he he goes away from that path he is not able to put his mind on the self that shri krishna is telling aprapya yoga sansiddhim and for such a person yoga sansiddhim the attainment of the ultimate attainment of this yoga is aprapya he cannot attain it it is not possible for him to attain that vision of equanimity because he is not able to for we, we, he has all the good intention he has shraddha he has faith but he is not able to go to the mind o krishna what happens of such a person now this is a perfect doubt arjuna has now arjuna is actually putting this doubt to shri krishna from his own perspective arjuna is a very wonderful student under uh, Arju, arjuna is a perfect uh, uh, you know student to follow this path of yoga but having got into that mood of dejection of vishad he has uh, he is faculty of discrimination and dispassion has gone heavier he is not able to think what is right what is wrong intention is there after all he is shri krishna's friend he is shri krishna's beloved student all the intention is there so arjuna is raising this question this doubt from his own perspective and this is exactly what happens with all of us isn't it this is what happens we have all the good intention of following this path but somewhere down the line our that conviction our that uh, thinking of following this path is just goes bust and again we are back into that mode of trying for the enjoyments getting involved getting attached with the things worldly hmm? getting attached to me and mine we just cannot 
detach ourselves from this me and mine. All, we have all the intention. We Every morning and evening we perform japa meticulously. We sit for meditation. We think of the Lord. We think of our Ishtam. But then at the end of it, what happens? We are again back to square one. Now, for such people, Arjuna is asking, what is the goal? Arjuna is asking, Kaam gatim gachati, where do all such people with the good intention, with all the shraddha, but they are not able to control the mind. And since they are not able to control the mind, they cannot attain to the fruits of this yoga. Yoga sansiddhim aprapya. For them, the attainment of the fruits of this yoga is impossible, is unattainable. So now, Arjuna has raised this question. He who is unable to control himself, though possessed of faith, he has full faith, he has full shraddha, but he is unable to control himself. His mind deviates from yoga. What end does he meet, O Krishna, having failed to attain this perfection in yoga that you are talking about? The sadhaka is imbued with faith that yoga leads to perfection. 100% that faith is there, but still, this chanchal mind, this asthira mind, hmm, this adamant mind, Time and again, I am putting it here. Again it wanders. What to do now? I don't want it to go there. I don't want it to get involved with any of those sense objects. I don't want my mind to get attached to me and mine. But this wretched fellow just doesn't listen. How many times I am telling this fellow? Baba, do this way. Come and sit here. No, it comes here. Again, it runs away. Again, I pull it back. Again, it runs away. How can I focus? How can I concentrate? How can I attain the Siddhi of this yoga? For such a person, the yoga Siddhi becomes aprapya, unattainable. Now, very pertinent doubt that Arjuna has raised for on, on behalf of all of us. This is exactly what happens with, in, in everyone's life. We are not bad at heart, isn't it? None of us is bad at heart. None of us, we who, who have not taken this path, want to get involved for that matter in any of these materialistic activities. We don't want our sense organs to get afflicted by the sense objects, but still this wretched mind. Therefore, although Sri Ramakrishna had given in his teaching to us in the previous shloka that he himself prayed, Sri Ramakrishna himself made an effort of removing all the thoughts from his mind and Pray it for this place to become purest of the pure. The, uh, the, 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 the no, no room for any earthly thoughts. Room only for the thought of the Lord, thought of the mother. He could do it. And that's what he's telling us. You also do it the same way. But we are doing it. We have faith in his words. But still we go off the track. We can't, uh, uh, you know, uh, permanently place the mind over here. We can't do it 24 bar 7. We do it for a second. And then for all the remaining seconds during the day, mind starts wandering away. How can it get fixed on the self? And if it is not getting fixed on the self, how can it realize the feeling of equanimity of all the beings? How can it see the Lord in all beings and how he can see all beings placed in the Lord? It is just impossible. So Arjuna has asked this question on behalf of us that having 
failed in attaining this such a, uh, 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 the, the, the perfection, what end does such a person get into? Is it that, the, okay, if there is a person who is not at all on this path, who has no shraddha, who, who is through and through wretched, who doesn't want to walk on this path at all, no questions asked. That fellow doesn't need any kind of uh, uh, liberation, illumination, enlightenment. No, that is not his path at all. Fine, let him enjoy it. But we have taken this path. So, what is what is the condition? What is the end that people like us, they are going to end up with? So, this is the doubt that uh, Arjuna has asked in this uh, 37th shloka. And uh, uh, he, Arjuna is not stopping just with this uh, doubt. Now, in 38th and 39th shloka also, he is going to ask the similar doubts. He is going to raise the similar doubts for Sri Krishna to further elaborate on this kind of perplexity, this kind of dilemma, this kind of uh, uh, uncertainty over the future of the wanting to be yogis who are unable to do it. So that was uh, the 37th shloka that uh, Arjuna put his doubt before Sri Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ram Krishna Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swamiji